You seen those? Yeah, they're, they're usually bottom. garbage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What about them? Why do you it, why do you even question that? You don't. Cause I have um, like my mirror. My mirror is you, um, is UBS. So USB. I could plug USB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dyslexic, you know that. Micro USB. Yeah, and so I can plug that in with the same one, right? But they're garbage, so that's what I was asking if they're garbage. They're usually. Well, they're garbage. a good idea. They're they usually, are. They're usually shitty, shitty, shittily made. Mm. But it is a good idea, you got to admit, you know? It's a great idea. Yeah, unfortunately, in practice, it doesn't usually work out. Just because the companies who are interested in making them are shitty companies. Well, hopefully, one of the good ones will pick it up. I'm sure Bell can make something, but... Well, hopefully, will they? one of the good ones will pick it up. That's the question. Will they? Yeah. I bought a pack of the damn of the ultra long ones. Like I think it you know, like I bought a three pack, they're pink. And um no, one was pink, one was purple, and I don't remember the other color. And one was like three feet, one was six feet, and one was ten feet or nine feet. Yeah. You see those pack on Amazon and stuff? They're all they're all broken now. Can you believe that? Yeah. They don't last. No, they don't. They're cheap. You gotta be very wary when buying charging cables. A lot of them only give out like a half amp to an amp of power. Yeah, you and it's garbage. Have, you need at least two and a half amps for iPhones. My charging They said pack, they were certified. Yeah. I don't care if they're certified. That just means they're UL listed. Um, no, no, MFI? Yeah. Um, my my charging docks both put out five amps, <clears throat> five milliamps. But five. How well, do you know five. then when you're shopping for charging cables? It, it will say. Oh, it does. In the specs, yeah. Uh. Yeah, well, I didn't know it before. You're buying an an iPhone yeah, charger. You it costs less than five bucks. Chances are... It didn't. I don't buy things that cheap. It's garbage. It was like a little less than 20 for the, the three I got. Well, you, well, you know, you bought three. So it cost well, three pack. Yeah. Six bucks, six thirty-three or six, six, six eight. All right, all right. It's just a lot of the times the ones they sell you are like three feet long, and that's nothing. Yeah, I have six footers and I have a fifteen footer. Mine is only like a foot and a half long. Yeah, see, that's nothing. Hey, we we sit on the floor. No, I use it on my. I have an outlet right at the end of my bed. Oh. So it works out all right. Yeah. I have to charge mine a couple times a day because I use mine a lot. Mm. I, use, I use my phone a lot. I don't charge mine during the day. I uh, I don't use it that much during the day. I use my computer. I use my computer and my phone. I, I have to have. I have to be like completely busy. Or um, I start the, thinking too much. Because of the nature of my job, I charge my phone every opportunity I get. Yeah. If I'm in the car going to between jobs, it's on charge. If I'm anything, it's on charge. Come on, bitch, charge! This fucking thing won't charge unless I hold it a certain way. Oh, I hate that. I know. Me Wrap too. It around the phone. I am, but then it loosens up and stops charging. <laughs> I gotta find a job. We live yet? Yeah.
Oh, yay! You don't do an uh, intro, so I don't know. Uh, no, you should. I am, but then it loosens up and stops oh, charging. Huh. How'd that happen? Yeah, I don't know, but it needs to stop. It did already. And I don't know why, but now I'm working. You what? You what? Stream's not fucking working. Oh, shit. Yeah, YouTube sucks lately. I love my internet. My internet sucks still... as well. <clears throat> you still see me, Cliff? Yep. Yeah. On the stream? Yeah. Yeah, I see you on the stream. Your game paused, but... Yeah, mine too. I see you. There you are. Wave. Like, move or something so I know it's yeah, frozen. Okay, yeah. Okay. Alright, just um, let me know if and when it stops. We shall, we shall. <clears throat> so, um... They asked me to stream, I got, that's what Virgo got, um, was getting in touch with me about. To stream the, um... For Vilified? Yeah. yeah. Robert's not gonna be home though, so I can't, I told him. When? Tomorrow. That's why I asked if you're gonna be at work tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Eat. I don't know if they get caught. If they tell me, I'll let you know. But so far, I can find. I can find out if you want. From who? Because it'll say um, on oh, yeah, true. Schrodinger's. Right. Schrodinger's saying it'll say upcoming. <clears throat> yeah, I told well, I told Schrodinger, I told Chuck, and I told Virgo. So, okay, so three p.m. my time, so it's five p.m. your time, Robert. Oh, yeah, I would have been shit. Then <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll tell them that you're be home. I, I asked, I asked you if you were working well. I am working tomorrow. But he will be home by five, apparently. Yeah. I'll tell them then. There was some guy out there spouting off about Vilify Freedom, about how he doesn't work. He's fat. Okay, so, damn, I was going to say I refreshed and it's working, but it just went out again. Yeah, oh, I stopped it. Uh, Should be coming back now. Yeah, it's back. Mine's fine. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's like a menu. Neat. Yeah, with all the birds, the bird and the wolf and the... Spider. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it does it as you encounter. All your abilities as you unlock them show up on this tree over here to the left. And on the right is oh. the tree of bosses and shit you bought. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Magnifique. Hmm. 
<laughs> so modern day debates took my wrench. Why? Apparently they took Christ bunchers too, so What? I think he I think he just didn't want to have that many mods. Right. No, that was Well he took punchies too, so Well punchies in a lot of um drama right now. I don't, I don't know why he take yours. I have no idea why he would take mine other than the fact that he was cleaning up his mods. But why, but how is he, he should have said something, that's what he should have done. That's the right thing oh. to do. Yeah, well, he didn't. I don't like him at all, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm liking him less. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't like him. He's a hypocrite, first of all. Um, he's he's a horrible mod. He can't run a channel for Christ. Nothing. Not he can't. He can't. He doesn't know how to like multitask, I guess, because he'll have the chat out of control. He won't be paying attention to one thing when he pays attention to the other. And I get it, he's a learning curve, whatever, whatever, but come on, just, when, that thing was, alright, the problem I had is when Nathan, Team Skeptic, and him met up together in person, he was letting that get so vicious, or when, oh, even worse, when Team and Nathan and Craig, remember, and JM were together on it, and they were just harassing Nathan. He left and everything, and I can't stand Nathan. You know that, but I mean, he was getting, he was like laughing with them at Nathan. He's letting them do it because they're the draw, right? I heard you were a big time Nathan fanboy. Do you guys understand what I'm saying or not? Yeah. Like, why would you let one of your guests, who you asked to be in your house, basically, be humiliated like that by two of the others and join in on it? That's like a mean girl thing, you know? Well, it's, it's like, yeah. I mean, he was, he, he's letting Craig display all those memes. And yeah. Stuff. Really? And some of them are quite disgusting. Oh, yeah, they were. They implied, they implied that he was like a predator or something, which... And he was in jail getting, you know... Raped, yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, um... He even put the screen, put Craig's screen full screen. Now that is under his control, so you know he did that. And it's like... To me... What he says he stands for, right? He's a hypocrite. The dumpster fires that he's had have made his channel as popular as it is. And that's why he does that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So. Oh, I think he's... One of those guys that plays the I'm a good guy routine, but he's not really. Yeah. You know? And if you have people who, who are. What? I didn't say he wasn't. Yeah, your point is? Yeah, so the thing is, you have a bunch of mods, and you're gonna get rid of a bunch? Say something to them. They have volunteered their time to you. You know? Maybe something happened and you just don't know. I'm just saying, we don't know. Okay, forget it. I don't want to say another word. Good idea. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, he. Ah. Uh... He nope, what nope, he did, 
so. Oh my god, did I tell you what? Oh yeah, I did. About the girl downstairs? Yeah. <laughs> that was hysterical, I thought. You know? I, I put it in the chat earlier. Cliff, do you know what I'm talking about? Today? She said, did you drop your phone? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I didn't remember. Really get well, all right. When I first met her, she's like, "You know, um, what's that thud I hear every once in a while?" Like, oh, you mean uh, like twenty times a day? That's me dropping my phone. She's like, oh, okay. Because I, I, I was like sitting down here, and I'm like, "What is she doing?" <laughs> you know. So today I dropped it early this morning, and I get a text. And all it says is, drop your phone again. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, it starts to back and forth uh, between us. That lasted for a while. That was really funny. It's a good way to start the day. A little joke, you know? A little laugh. Yeah. She's a nice girl. Nice girl. She lives in the world's shittiest apartments with you? Yeah. <laughs> Real small, so not the shittiest, it's the smallest. I've been shittier. I guess so. If the they're if you talk if you talk about like um, neighbors, yeah, they're shitty. That's mainly what I was referring. Oh, to. Oh, okay. Here. I thought you meant like you know physically shitty. No. Okay. But yeah, then I agree with you. Absolutely. How about most ghetto? That might be the word for the word used instead of shitty. Um, but. I haven't heard I, you complain uh, about them for a while, though. Yeah, Jennifer's been keeping them in line. <laughs> I yeah. they were, they were loud the other day, and so I texted her saying, "Huh? What?" Oh, okay. Um, they were loud the other day, and I was. I ignore it, I ignore it, I ignore it, you know, trying to work. And I had to record some lines for cats. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and they're just not getting quiet. So I text them, like, I can't work. It's really super loud. And I've got to record some lines. So she, like, right away took care of it. I was like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Great best of life. Great best of life. Or he is like fucking fearless. Don't you think? Cute. Can Ori die? What? Can Ori die? Oh, what is that? Oh, I don't like it. It reminds me of um that weird friend of, of Ori. It looks like a Triceratops with a weird hairdo. The one that lives with her Ori and Ori's mom. What's that guy? With a deep, deep voice. Found some more. Um. The one with the round guy. The one that lives with his mom. The round guy with the long legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was watching that guy, um, Gael Level, I was telling you about, the streamer. Yeah. Um, you know, he does how-to things, like the stingers that I was trying to put on my stream and how to transition. Um, and he was like, how to, you know, doing how-to uh, stream, things you should never do as a streamer, or how to 
grow your channel as a streamer, that things like that. He said, you gotta get used to talking. Always be talking. Talking to yourself, talking to the game, talking to yeah. That's gotta be hard while you're playing the game. Yeah. Yeah, there's certain points during games where I find it difficult to be talking. For the most part, though, I can do it. Oh, yeah? I watch it. Yeah. I watch a guy who does uh, let's plays, and he uh, he doesn't talk through the whole thing. He, he talks quite a bit, but it's not non-stop. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be non-stop. It has to be a lot, you know. Cause yeah, but he's coming here just to watch silence. Yeah, that guy only has twenty-eight thousand subscribers, though, so he's not that big. He's still. I wouldn't mind 28,000 subscribers, sorry. Well, yeah. Uh, that's like a... What? None of us would mind that many, baby. It's not really... Gargantuan No, but... I mean... I just... I don't know, I... I guess... How long has he been doing it, though? Uh, f at like 12 years, oh, wow. probably. Okay. Yeah. Long yeah. time. And uh, the guy I watched that does hockey streams, he's 20 years old. He said he's been doing YouTube since he was 11. Ah. Yeah. And he has 18,000 sub subscribers. Yeah, he's in his just in his twenties, and he's already got a good subscriber base and bright future ahead of him. Yeah, if he really wants to, you know, make a career out of it. It's just when, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't see a lot of the. I think big, big subscriber counts are kind of like a thing of the past. There's too many people out there. Or at yeah. least what we consider a big, you know, like, I don't think there's another like, PewDiePie out there. Yeah. I, I don't know. I know for sure there's another I, iDubs out there. Sure, but like she said, PewDiePie was the perfect storm of shit. Like. Mm -hmm. He was, yeah, he had a lot of luck, that's for sure. He, I don't uh, want to call it luck, I just think it's perfect time. Well, time, timing is luck, though, in a way, right? But, uh, yeah, I mean, the guy worked hard, I'm sure, but, uh, he had help. He had help with South Park, too. That, that really, uh, helped him, I think. I guess either Matt Stone or Trey Parker were their fans of his, I'm guessing. I don't see anybody starting now becoming that big. No, because YouTube won't promote them. That's the thing. It's not just that, though. Because, don't forget, YouTube tried to destroy Felix a number of times. You know, they did. That's well, really I mean, to people. there was some controversy, obviously. And not just YouTube. I mean, we're talking about mainstream media tried to cancel him a number of times. What, babe? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. I miss hiding in closet. The girls have been um, doing live videos on Insta. I keep missing them. Who? The Rue girls. Huh? Yeah.
see what's going on tonight. We're busy doing something, that's for sure. Huh? Traveler, word, no word, don't worry, I escaped the corruption that fell for me. That the fell many in my camp, but there is one problem. If you don't happen to have any water, do you? I fear my canteen broke in a fall. I think I have a canteen. Uh, Not that I'm thirsty, I think we're all good tough. I could survive in this desert for days. I drink a fresh water now and then, it's good for the spirit. And my spirit is parched. Yes, hello! Hello! Speaking of people. I know, I was just wondering where everybody was. Hey, Junior. You want me to give him the link, babe? Sure. I shall do so. Uh. Be so joining in Go over to. I'll put it in your um. Discord. There you go. He said he tried to watch the previous Bobby attempts. Uh oh. It's YouTube. Yeah. Ding dong, the dick is here. <laughs> Is he in? I haven't got the other menu and I was playing. <sighs> hello! Hello, hello, hello! He's muted. Hello, Junior. He's so muted. He's around the sure. us. I'm sure he'll figure it out. He's probably doing something. We're talking about him like he's not here. <laughs> what? Hey. Oh, Bobby. Muted. I thought y'all meant me. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be. You? No, you're muted. You were muted. Yeah. Sure. I wasn't. You, you were. Cliff, was he muted? Don't yeah, you were. Know. When you first came in, you were muted. No, I said it wasn't, then I just touched the microphone and it started working. I said it was okay. muted. Oh, okay. I'm telling you. Muted. Over here, yeah. I, yeah. Look, over I'm here, it was not you, muted. I'm just telling you what it said. Yeah, yeah. from <laughs> our <laughs> side. Yeah, and even on my side, it wasn't muted. I'm like, what the hell? Y'all can't hear me? I said, hello, hello. Sorry. No, it's my phone, I think. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it wasn't muted. I'm like, why is it muted? Let me check. Sometimes, like, um, certain devices, like phones, will will mute on entrance. Yeah. yeah. So you just play bingo on your phone, Anacido? Yeah, and I play the bingo. Don't but you're watching. People. You're watching on your computer, right? No. Oh, you're, you're not watching on... So you're watching and playing on the phone? Yeah. So why did they say they couldn't do it? I, it. I think it depends because on the layout. I was about to say, some people might not have picture in picture. You know, anytime I, I'm watching YouTube and I, like, hit the main screen button, YouTube just drops into a little box for me. Oh. You can, yeah, anyone can do that, but some people don't know how, I'm thinking. Or they I have it turned off. Yeah. We can do what? Because it. Yeah. Picture in picture. Like when you minimize your YouTube, but you still have the little screen. Do we do that, babe? On our iPhones? I think iPhone was the first one to do it. Oh, I don't, I've never done that. How do you do it? I literally just have to open up another tab or go back to my home screen or whatever, and it does it automatically. Yeah, I don't have right. to do anything to it. Right. It just I go, works. I go to YouTube. 
Get, yeah, it's done it for me too, so I know it's not just him that has it. That's what Android. kind of Android? Yeah. And yeah. Or it could be uh my Snapdragon processor. <laughs> I do got one of them puppies. I oh, got yeah. one. I got one too. I got the Snapdragon 635, I think. Uh, Mine starts with an 8. I can't remember what it is. 83060? I mean, 8360? Something like that. I'll have to pull the book out. That's a good processor. Anything in the 8 series is pretty good. Yeah, it's in uh, LG G8. Maybe that's why, too. I got a nice phone. Yeah, that is a nice phone. But, uh, I can just, uh, like, keep the tab open for the bingo card. I just, whenever I have to type anything in, you know, uh, maximize the window for YouTube. Or, because this phone has it, I run dual screen. So like that, I have a screen open with YouTube and another screen open with the chat, uh, the bingo card, and I'm able to type on both simultaneously. Oh, nice. I can't do that on my Motorola. What kind of Motorola you have? E6. Ooh, nice. It's all right. It's not as nice as a G8. It's only a $150 phone. Yeah, so I'm saying it's a nice phone for that price range. A very nice phone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a good phone. You gotta remember, this is my first step up out of out of the hundred and fifty dollar phone range. It's got a, a G A X. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the G A X. Sin Q. Okay, cool. Or Sync. Yeah, I might uh I might just go up to a three hundred dollar phone here. I'll see what happens. I know these were retailing for seven hundred. I can probably get a really nice used S nine for like three hundred bucks. Oh, speaking of S's and stuff like that, have y'all seen what is it the 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 new Samsung Galaxy Z or whatever? Nope. That's a phone that's got a foldable screen. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a bad mode fold. That's the one that, that folds in the middle. You know, it bends in the middle. Literally one screen like mine has, of course, it opens up, but it's got two screens. Crazy. That one's just one big one that folds over. Yeah. That's a sexy phone. And I don't normally like Samsung. Yeah, when yeah. I started having cell phones, I had uh, all Motorola, always Motorola. I've had good luck with most of my Motorola's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I used to love them. I had one for so long that uh, they quit making the battery for it. <laughs> you remember that little uh, square one that slid open and had the keyboard yes. under it? Yes. Yeah, I had that one for so long. Oh, I shit. love that phone. Damn. Yeah, I had a uh, Motorola Razor and a Motorola. Yes. Cra and a Motorola. Love my razor. Yeah. yeah, and a crazy. I had a Crazer too. Yeah, I had the Crazer. I'm not so fond of the Crazer as the Razor. Oh uh, no, I love the Razor. I I didn't like the Crazer that much. Yeah. I also you have like the predecessor to those. I can't remember what it's called now, but it was kind of like round and had uh, that soft, uh, touchy stuff on the outside of it. Oh, yeah. yeah the, no. first one, the first one was like a, a clock on the outside while it was closed. You could just, you know, pick it well, up. The Razor had that. The Razor had that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is before the Razor. I have no idea. Yeah. Wow. What were you going to say, Cliff? Did you ever have what? Uh, what was I gonna say? 
Sorry. <laughs> oh, did you have a? Uh, yeah, no did you have like the pink razor, Marvel? How'd you know? Because it's you. <laughs> yes, I did. They had a gold one too. I had yeah. the silver one. They had the red, a uh, red one for uh, AIDS silver. awareness. Oh yeah, I had the I silver that. one. That well, that but... razor. That was half pink, but yeah, it's pink. Those are good. I'm sorry. I'd ha I'd rock one now if I could. I remember <laughs> that that Samsung with a full keyboard that uh, slid apart too. Yeah. I had that one for a while. That one was given to me as a used phone. I bought the battery for it and used it for another five years. Until I yeah. realized I needed a new phone. Yeah. I had an LG with the slide out uh, keyboard as well. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the full keyboard. It's too small. Oh, but we all got good at uh, using our um, thumb to dial out on, the, I mean, uh, to write words with the stupid number keypad, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the T9 texting. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, you type a word and then you pick a word from the scroll down or um, scroll, uh, scroll yeah. across. They have the words that scroll across and you pick the nearest word. Word oh, no, you, no, 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 no. I meant like the number pad. Like to write yeah. the word, you, mean you, mean you have to put the uh, stick twice, text. three twice, then three twice again, then mm -hmm. uh, three again once, you know? Yeah, you can do that, or you can just type it out on the keypad, on the number pad, and then choose the word on the, the menu that appears. That was another way of doing it. But yeah, I used to do it both ways. Yeah, I, I always did it manually. <laughs> Yeah, it took a while. Be like, how yeah, the fuck did. can you do that? I said, well, I learned the alphabet, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty crazy. And then, believe it or not, I even had the world's uh, first uh, save. The, the brick. I had one of those, too. Long oh, time yeah. ago. Yeah. My friend's cousin had one of those bricks. They're stupid expensive. To Marvel's talk on first. it? No. Yeah. You ain't lying, Marvel. They 50 were. cents a minute and shit? Uh-huh. My dad had one of the first um, car phones. It's like attached to the car and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't take those out. Yeah. You can't take them nowhere? Yeah. That was funny. They're stuck in the car. <laughs> and they got a real cord on them and shit. Yeah, <laughs> remember that My, it was a briefcase phone too. Yeah, yes, that was yes, right that's there. it, yes. that's it, that's the one. My my dad got one of the first uh, cell phones that was as big as your hand back in like 1993. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the first flip phone too. It, was nice it wasn't a, it wasn't a flip phone. It was a it was like a brick, but it was a lot smaller. So it was like the yeah. size of your size of your hand. <laughs> So it was a dainty brick. It was a dainty brick. Like a subway trial. Yeah. 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 Using it with subway trials. Hmm. Where'd Robert go? Apparently, apparently Chris's um, mom had one back in the day. I didn't know that. I do remember the first um, okay. flip phone. Anybody know where Robert went? Anybody? Anybody? Nope. He probably had to go run off outside somewhere. He's probably got burgers burning on the grill, y'all. With that man, you never know. True. Never know anything. <laughs> Slay he's, he found him a dragon ice slaying as he can get a dragon burger. Yeah. Down, boy. <laughs> okay. You'll be fine. Trust me. Just come on in here. Oh, my God. You're so weird. So weird. Uh, I'm so tired. 
He's gonna come back soon. I'm taking time. Well, either that or Daddy needed him for something. Probably Dad. Yeah, it's probably his dad. <laughs> the neighbor's cat hasn't been back since I made eye contact with it when it was outside and shook my head. No, I wasn't going to let him in, and he hasn't been back in two days. Oh, <laughs> why'd you do that? You had a friend. Because he... Because uh, it was the middle of the day, I didn't feel like letting him in. Yeah. I didn't my have any pet. food for him or anything, so... My neighbor's oh. cat's like that, and it's sad because he can't meow. Oh. So I like watching him, you know, just at the oh, very one. end when he, when he, you know, when the cat would be done, you could hear a little crack. Mm. It snuck up on me, I didn't even <laughs> hear him. I turned, you know, I heard that, and I turned around and said, what the fuck do you want? I'm over here opening the can of tuna. Check out this video. I'll, go, I'll put it in your uh, Discord, in Seda, in Seda. And it, I'll, I'll give it to you um, in the other room. But I, I, I'm subscribed to this girl's channel. Let Chris, let, let Tina see it too. She's too cute. See it? Dancing. She's a dancer at that age. She does, she does flamenco dancing. I, I know what flamenco is. Yeah, she does it. I've, I've done it. Little like what, two year old. I realized I don't like that. She's really good. For a two year old. For an eight year old, she's good. And she's adorable. Look eight. at her. She looks small for eight. No, she's like two, I said. Oh, okay. But she's as good as an eight year old. Right. There's a lot of kids on YouTube doing stuff like that, like tap dancing and shit like that. Oh my god. But when they're that young, do you think they want to do it or you think it's their parents? Uh, I think there's a lot of pressure. A little of both. Probably a lot of pressure put on them by their parents. But it's got to be fun, right? I mean, they wouldn't do it as good if it wasn't fun. You know what I'm saying? Uh just as long as the parents aren't like the dance moms, uh, yeah, the moms true. from the dance mom show. Oh my God, yeah. Christina will watch that show. I can't stand that fucking show because of the parents. What, Every last punch? one of them living through their fucking daughter, you know, vicariously through yeah. their daughter. Every last punch, one of yeah. them. I hear oh. Abby lost a lot of weight. Dude, she needed to. Yeah, all the stress. I hear she I'm lost like a whole person. Yeah, I'm surprised she was like the dance uh, queen. Yeah, whatever, she right? can't move. Dance. She couldn't move. Yeah. Oh, they're talking about you need to kick your leg higher. Excuse me, bitch. When was the last <laughs> time you saw your <laughs> Apparently, though, when she was a, d a child, she was a dancer. She was your mom her in school. Yeah. Mm. Was that a drill sergeant for a dad? For her to be as stern as she is? Jesus. And those are children? Yeah, it's kind of weird. They should be allowed to roll in the dirt if they want to every now and then. Hmm. Not when you get your child in the so my dad you expect you know results. She gives out the results. Yeah, but then it's not really it's not really fun for the child no more. That's what I'm saying. The kids should do something because they wanna do it, not because they're they don't wanna, you know, let their parents down. The other one, you know, like the little girl, uh, her name now, but yeah, because she would do whatever Miss Abby said. I mean, anything Miss Abby said, she didn't care. She was getting yelled at. That girl could take the yelling. She wouldn't wow. even cry. I'm like, hey, yeah, man. Who's that? Going. It's Christina. No, the girl. 
Who's she talking about? Which kid are you talking uh, about? Das, Christina. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm just a guy. <laughs> oh my god. Giving the guy answers. Look, girl, she's a little champ. Um, I can't remember her name. I have to look up. I have to look her up. Okay. If it wasn't Christina, you would have had some answer in it, though. Okay. All right. Who's that bitch like, in I your house? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> How'd you get in my house? <laughs> hey? You're like, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Silly. You know me how? <laughs> I don't remember you at all. <laughs> Oopsies. I did an oopsie. I swear to God, um, there's a guy named Robert here before. Mr. Bobo. Robert! Ready? Yeah. He uh, is no longer here. No, really? Yeah. Hey, yeah. They're saying that sandals with socks are in. Like, no. In what world? Because, no, no. It's not a cute look. People wear them all the time here. It's a big thing in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, they do. I'm, I'm talking about the type of sandals that you see. Like, Oh, no. Toe sandals? Like, no. Like, we're talking about like really pretty ones, heels, the whole thing. Gladiator sandals or uh oh, you know, like you know, dressy Oh yeah, yeah, sandals. I got you. Fashion mm -hmm. sandals. With a fucking sock? No. No. I no. I, I see the point with the the you know the the showers, you know, the shower slide type. Cause there's no toe on them, but dude, if you ever tie that shit up, you got a sock on, you got another problem going. It's just, it's ugly. It's odd. It's not cute. Yeah, well, an open toe. You see the toe box. It's gross. like socks with sandals. Nobody should do that ever. It should be well, it's just like uh, the Los Angeles Chicano. You can't tell them nothing. They'll wear uh, dicky shorts with long socks all the way over <laughs> the knee. Yeah, that's just like a cholo look, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. And the, the shirt that's only buttoned at the very top? Yep. What? A cholo. You know where you, the the Mexican guys that only have their shirt buttoned at the very top, Marvel? Uh -huh. with, the tight, with a white t-shirt underneath. Oh, hell yeah. Usually got a hair right. net on. Yeah, they got their hair uh, slicked back with the, uh, what's that? The, the... Like a do-rag. <laughs> no, so, I'm trying to think of the grease because I used to use it too. Oh, yeah, three roses. Oh. It was called Tres Rosa. Oh, yeah. Or well, some guys use pink, uh, pink oil. Yeah, but most of the time it's the little red can with a green little yeah. label. Up. I know what you're talking I about. I used to yeah. have the hairnet too. Oh no, you did it. Yeah, that's why I don't no. have no curl on the top of my hair. Oh. They should just put the back to off, and I, there's no curl on the top. It's just at the back. Yep. I pulled it straight. Years no. and years of combing it back. <sighs> <laughs> oh no oh yeah my pillowcases were something else to stare at because you cannot wash that shit out of your hair no, you cannot you have like a <laughs> halo effect on them and shit yeah. <laughs> Stay there. you know who's whose pillowcase is whose uh-huh and the pillow <laughs> it's like oh, that yeah. that lady with the wicked teeth that had her stains on her pillowcase don't oh. even or the Soul Glow people that sat at the on the couch, remember? On uh, the same thing. <laughs> I knew I knew some people who used stuff like you know had Jerry Curl. No, stop it. You can no, do. I never it, you know Jerry Curl, but I would leave a stain on you know stuff if I put my head on it. Yeah, I remember that shit back in the day. 
Yeah. I have to be careful when I go to somebody's back. house on how I sat in their couch, you know, couldn't let my head touch. Right? Yeah. It was Macy. Oh, the yeah. kid's name was Macy, Macy on that show. My my best friend had a Jerry Curl for a while. And I'd be like, bitch, don't you ever touch your head to anything in my house. I swear to God. <laughs> don't shake your head no either, motherfucker. Right? Uh-uh. <laughs> I laid down the law with her. I was like, uh, uh bitch. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah. There you go. Hey, hey, you, I have given up hope. Hey, Dr. Shapley. How are you, sir? Oh, somebody's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't checking the chat. Thanks, guys. Is he, doc is he a doctor of veterinary medicine? Is that what DVM stands for? Yeah. I don't know. Yes, he's a veterinarian. Yeah, I'll bring him to oh. you in a minute. Wow. My chat broke. We got a puppy. Damn it. still there. Hmm? Yeah, oh, but I can't there. read He's the chat. He's never actually made it to my stream before. That's great. Mm. I can't read the chat. God damn it. We thought you weren't coming back, babe. When have I ever not come back? No, I was just saying. But you were gone for a while, so I'm saying. The BVM CVA. Did you hear about Devin's new video? Okay, get this. This is what Devin... Devon Rayford is saying now. Or he calls himself Devon Bay. That Tom Hanks has been replaced by a clone who's on the run in Mexico because of pedo charges. Tom Hanks' clone is a pedo. It's a chomo. Oh, yeah, that fucking that, uh, rumor that's been going around. Yeah, it's crazy. What the fuck? Tom Hanks is in Mexico? And he's, it's his, no, it's his clone. Oh. He's been replaced by a clone. But the clone so is also Tomas. evil. It's a pedo. I <laughs> named Tomas Hanks. Uh, yeah, it's an evil clone of Tom Hanks. Somebody's been watching Tom multiple videos or something. <laughs> Name's Juan Hanks. Yeah, Juan some reason Hanks. watching Multiplicity <laughs> or whatever other movies have that shit in it. <laughs> Juan Hanko. Yeah, Juan Hanks. <laughs> I just thought it was like one of the most. I mean, does he not hear how incredibly insane he sounds when he says this shit? Uh. He has no concept of reality, man. You can tell the way he just like stares off in the space, his eyes, he's not there. Man. And then the, the fight that got in his, with his mom? Did you watch the one with his mom? The fight with his mom? Uh-uh. Like, like I said, I try not to watch too many of that, dude. I can't. Oh, man. That, uh, last night, Real Pirate Films put it up. Oh, last night? No, I need to watch the, the ones from... Uh, the last one I watched was a couple days ago. She's Devin. like, what are you yelling about? Because he's in his room yelling, making a video about, you know, everybody should get together. Like, he wants people to meet him so they can lure um, pedos and beat them up and make them kill themselves. And I'm like, well, somebody should say, yeah, let's do it. Lure you in and beat the fuck out of you. But, oh, um, Why don't he just do it by himself? Why do you need right? help? He's like, I'm, you know, I'm serious, man. You know. Nobody is willing to do shit. Dude, really? You're the criminal. T I mean, I love when criminals got to criminals, first of all. But he, th he thinks he's like some high and mighty guy who's never done anything but great things. While when, and oh god. Did you see when he tried to rap at that concert and got booed off the stage? That was beautiful. <laughs> no. Like, yeah. And then he's like, well, fuck you guys. And he walks off like. Yeah, that's what they said to you first, dude. That's but like, he starts were... yelling at his mom, like, you know, like, he's doing her a favor by being there, you know? 
Fuck you. Get the fuck out your mom's house. Well, he probably gets a check. Maybe. Like welfare? Because he's not disabled. Well, MHMR does get to get checks. I mean, he may not be physically disabled, but mentally, you know that fucker ain't. We there. all know he's yeah, but he's I guarantee you, his mama been using him for a check. I doubt it. It's not worth that aggravation. It's not. And then he's got his license back, so he's been driving recently. So keep an eye out. Pretty soon we'll have content about him being pulled over. Oh no. Yeah, he's uh. I would never want to see that dude drive. He's an asshole. He lost his marble. I mean, like, the What's shit that? he was saying about Van's daughter, how he's gonna send his buddies to go Millie Rock up her ass, right? And yet, he I was know offended. What that term means. It's not a nice thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I imagine it's not. I'm like, okay. oh. It's like an East Coast thing. Um, but then, like, he gets pissed off if anybody mentions his mom. Dude! Hypocrite much? Fuck your mom. Yeah, I need to talk to tell him that too. Fuck my mom. Like, you. like somebody filmed where he lives. Like somebody went to where he lives and like took a drone there and everything to show his neighborhood. And he got pissed off. Like first they just took it off Google Maps and he thought like whoever it was had like ties to the government and shit like well, that of course um wasn't he the one that said where he lived he, he kept saying it yeah. yeah but he got pissed off that somebody showed his apartment God. building and shit sorry about it Man. he just kept talking about it well, yeah that's what you get it's when not you hard to find where you live. it's not hard to find especially when he shows it in his videos, like with the FBI agents. He's on his balcony, right? You uh, know, you've now shown us the outside of the house, apartment building. It's going to be even easier to find. Oh, especially if somebody lives there or used to live there. And look, yeah. I know exactly where that's at. I was, apparently, I was told it was not. Plus, he's been arrested, so the address is there. Yep, that's public record. Yep. It wasn't hard. And that's yeah. all they need is his real name. Yeah, Devin Rayford. Yep. There you Not go. Bay. Rayford. Not Bay at all. Mm -mm. Well, some people are just incredibly stupid and they just get thicker by the year. Yep, they do. Dr. Shapley, are you still there? I'm sorry I didn't see you before. I'm half asleep. My chat was frozen. I thought of mine was the last message. You asked Cliff to keep an eye on the chat. Remember? It was Cliff's fault. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Well, how do you not know Mr. Dr. Shapley is there? Because <laughs> he's... Well, he hasn't posted anything. He did. He came in 15 minutes after I showed up. Well, I mean, he said, Hey, Robert, that's it. Oh, so you did see it, and you didn't see anything to him. Well, that's just me. <laughs> sure I did. I said, does DVM stand for Doctor of Veterinary Medicine? And apparently no, that's does. way after he was here. I thought you saw him when he came in. Okay. Um, not really. Yeah. Bye. I Googled him. He works at a vet clinic in New Jersey. Jersey? What part? Uh, Jersey Shore. Oh. Okay. Like the TV show. Yep. Yep. Those, and I'm going to say it again. Everybody on that TV show, none of them are for Jer from Jersey. Some of them aren't even Italian. Right. There's a trash island. Staten Island? Yep. Mm. 
Yeah, lots of places in New York, but I think they're like, you know, that's how they got them. They started putting <laughs> stuff in the ocean to reclaim some land there. Mm -hmm. Isn't Manhattan like that? No. Or parts of Manhattan? Nope. Nope. Manhattan's all original. Okay. Yeah, Manhattan was bought off the natives for like a bunch of beads or something. It was the biggest ripoff in history. Pretty much. We want to. We, you want to say something about it? Huh? Huh? I mean, I, I mean, it was sound, uh, sound real estate practices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like something Donald yeah, Trump. Very was. sound. Yeah, very sound practices. You know, go to, go to. Uh, people that had, have no concept of monetary value of anything. Yeah. How can you buy the air we breathe kind of thing, yeah. 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 They didn't think people could own land, that's why. They thought, they thought they were coming out the winners because you can't own the land. Well, look what happens. I mean, I get what they're saying. What man thinks he owns everything? Yeah. White man, right? <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the Simpsons episode. Don't, uh, you know, don't look back there. And the Indian looks back and starts crying. I told you not to look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old, it rips off the old commercial with the litter. Oh, that's, oh. I, yeah, what commercial was that? Those remember? are very poignant, those commercials. The crying native, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Funny as fuck. I remember when he died, I cried. Oh, wow. He died. The uh, native in the commercial? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. He died about 20 years ago, actually. Lung cancer. Can't longer? Yeah. He was a symbol of my childhood, you know? Too much peace pipe. Like the spirit of the buffalo. <laughs> God. That's pretty much it right there. Yeah. You can't really get away with that here. Get away with what? Can't get away with it here either. Really. Uh, any, well, anything, any joke about the natives is like a big, big no-no here. Why? Because we're right. yeah, it's like people get offended on behalf of other people. Oh, yeah, I pretty much. That. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that too. It's like I look at it this way: Where were y'all when they were talking about building a goddamn wall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about my people? What we don't count? Yeah, it's the white people that get really offended. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's Some always, of them, the rest it, of them were screaming for that wall and telling Trump to hurry up to get Mexico to build it. I said, you know what's going to happen, right? A lot of Mexicans are going to get their house hooked up with steel panels. And that wall ain't going to get built. <laughs> nope. But the thing is, it's I call them OBOs on behalf of. Wow. The people that always get offended on behalf of whatever you're talking about. And they're not a part of it. Like, all the people out there shouting, you know, Black Lives Matter that are white. Oh, speaking of that, did y'all ever watch that video with Gleam in it? No. Gleam made a, a, a music video. What kind of? He had a Jamaica like flag this? in the back. He's got his dreadlocks rocking, wearing a Jamaican like track suit. I'm like, is he even Jamaican? He shouldn't even be doing that. Yeah. Creation. Yeah. According to MC Tune, Gleam is somewhat musically talented. Uh -huh. Oh, MC Tune said it. That must be true. I'm just, I'm just reporting. <laughs> well, if you like, uh. Uh, reggae music, and yeah, he's talented. Is, is Gleam black or white? white? He's white. British. So what's yeah. he doing? Okay, so he's not Jamaican. Okay. No. His right. uncle is married to a Jamaican lady. That's about his Jamaican. Married to one. <laughs> yeah. 
fucking hell. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Made me laugh I'm like bro, you know, I just like waiting. You know, one thing, but I'm waiting it. for uh, Halloween because I know some little kid is gonna think, uh, or, or or their parents, I should say, is gonna try to virtue single signal and have their child do some kind of makeup that's a, a George Floyd or something like that, and a whole bunch of ruckus is gonna ensue. What? Nobody's right? It happened uh, like last mean. Halloween. They had they, somebody dressed up in blackface for Halloween, trying to be all like politically correct, and it backfired like a motherfucker. Our prime minister, uh, when he was younger, he got caught doing blackface. Like people pull up the pictures now of yeah. him when he was younger and doing blackface, and he had to issue this big apology for it. Well, unless you you were like doing it in the '40s when it was like an actual thing, yeah, it's not good. I'm really surprised that he, of all people, because he's so woke, right? Yeah. Just. But here's the thing. Yeah, I know he's like too woke to to be a man. Um. <laughs> but. I don't know how people get woke? Do you guys remember that movie Soul Man? Yeah, I downloaded it. T. Thomas Howell. It was about. It was in the eighties, and you know, he's it's a white guy actor. C. Thomas Howell. He played Pony Boy in The Outsiders. Um, he takes a whole bunch of tanning pills, turns black, and gets a scholarship to college. To Harvard or something. Yeah, for, for you know that's meant for black kids. And that was the the story that uh, the plot of this comedy back in the 80s and it was a big hit yeah, can't say i've ever seen that i can't even imagine that happening today well that's what happens you take the booty out of the food chain you get what we have today yeah too many oversensitive people look at james earl jones was in that movie I mean, people were not that sensitive yeah. about shit like that. Well, you figure he'd have a problem. Yeah, he didn't. He was fine with it. They're, they're not going to remake it anytime. Nah. They're not going to remake that movie anytime soon. I can't see them doing it now. <laughs> Soul Man 2. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Soul Man 2, blacker and backer. Oh god damn. <laughs> blacker and better. You're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of movies from the 80s that if, yeah, if we tried to get away with them today. Mm. Well, you yeah. know, that'd be a director, you know, begging for change next week. I just think we've gotten overly soft and way too sensitive for our own. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. It's all about intent, too. Like, what is your intent when you're doing Is your intent to degrade a, a group of people? Because if it is, then you're an asshole. But if your attempt is to entertain or to explore some issues that were you know, in a unorthodox I mean, way. That's way to do that, yeah. Unorthodox way, yeah. Then nothing should really be sacred. No, I mean, comedy is the best way to, you know, really look at even the most taboo subjects. Yeah. And it's like, like you said, nobody's in, in that movie. Nobody was out to, you know, poke fun at anybody or. Say somebody one race is better than another. It was actually just a, about a stupid guy who's completely toned up, and in the in the what happens is he falls in love with a black girl, and 
you know, well, she's gonna find out sooner or later, and, you know, she's got, she's a single mom, and we find out about single moms, and stuff like that. I mean, I had a point to it, there was a moral to the story. Motherfucker! Okay, then. Um, what was that for, huh? You have a problem? We'll game? see it. Five, four, three, two... Okay. Or am I further behind? It's do 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. oh that is God, crazy how it's moving through sand or whatever the fuck that is. It's very fast. How the fuck? Or are you Why the hedgehog? Is, is, is yours bl blurry, anybody else? You gotta adjust the re resolution. How do I do that? The, the gear wheel at the lower right hand corner. Uh huh. And then click on quality. Okay. And then click 480 or better. I, I have it on auto. That's not What's, good. Hey, what, Barnes! What does it say it's at, though? It doesn't say anything. Oh, just auto? Okay, so click it. Yeah. And then click 480. I put it on 720, is that alright? Uh, that's even better. If your internet can handle it. Yeah. Hey, P. Barnes? Yeah, my phone can do uh, 1080. Hey, Barnesy. Won't come in and talk with us. That was my pathetic attempt at a British accent. What do you think? Wait. He's Australian. I know, but I can't <laughs> do that, so I did mine. Good day. I did the best I could do with what I got. All right, good day, mate. Fine, I'll try Australian. <clears throat> uh, no, do don't, 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 don't. Fosters. <laughs> it's not Australian for beer. Okay. Um, oh, I'm Fosters. Kidding. No, I can't. You, you have a Jersey accent. It's very hard for you. Yeah, well, it's not Jersey. Yeah. It's New York, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Fosters. Close enough. Close? Yeah, tried. you know, it's getting I there, I guess. Um, when I was um, like 10 years old, I used to do tech support for my dad because he'd get stock quotes online from this company. or They came across on the computer with the modem, and then you had to print them out of it, all the stocks anyways so the company that did it was based in new york so whenever i talked to them on the phone their accents would make me laugh ah. it, it so heavily new york all right did you just say coffee what is coffee uh, yeah pretty much what the hell is that coffee boy don't you know coffee i know oh, why you say it coffee. Like that? that's not how you say that yeah oh. Know, of course, if you're talking about burr, they say boyd, depending where you're from. I don't think boyd. you guys know. I don't think you guys know New York very well because that's not how they sound. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really do it without sounding <laughs> ridiculous. But uh, Anacito, have you ever tried saying "I left my car keys in my khakis" in a Boston accent? Uh, no, but I can walking? imagine how bad that sounds. I'm walking here. Yeah, I'll get it. I lost my co I left my cockies and my cockies. Yeah. No, that's not how they sound at all. Oh, when they say khakis, though, I mean it's khakis. Khakis. Khakis and my khakis. I I I know. You, you, yeah, I, yeah, I know you you pack it, ka. Pack it. K C A H ka. Yeah, ka. Left my khakis and my khakis. Pizza boy. There you go. Pizza Boy 420. <laughs> That's quite Love the monitor. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. <laughs> P Bar says I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey Pizza Boy, okay. how you doing, dude? I think P Barnes liked my Australian accent. He did. I can't do it. <laughs> Not I'm tone deaf though. Not Australian for beer. No, I don't know. 
Australian. I don't, I, I don't hear, I, I, well, I don't think I have an accent, but I also tried to learn how to not have an accent, so. Oh, I know it's, I have an accent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you sound a little southern. A little. A little. I should sound like all of it. All of it. <laughs> <sighs> a little yeah, bit, I've, yeah. I've, I've heard I've heard stronger uh, southern accents, but... You have a very laid-back um, twang. You have a twang, though. A definite twang. Oh, no. I mean, I can do most of them. Do you Texas? That's what I'm doing now. Inner city I'm about, takes. I'm about halfway oh. into the game, dude. Uh, just short of it, actually. Here's the map. Yeah, he's doing great. It's a beautiful game. But I say that every time, so I'm trying not to say it this time. <laughs> it fails. It's beautiful. It's visually stunning, it really is. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Like I can't do the Georgia accent. That's the one that that's the the one that you normally uh, yeah acquire, you know credit to it like a Southern Bell type. Well, you uh, think of Kyle. I had a friend in Texas who used to think my accent was adorable. Apparently, I have a Canadian accent. No, you think? <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> yes, she does. She's like, oh, you 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 say a boot. I'm like, I don't say a boot. I say a boat. But apparently it's close enough to a boot. Babe, uh, P. Byron said, so, wow, so the whole thing is one map? That's pretty cool. Yep, oh, you mean map. like the whole, all the games are one? I'm just saying there's no loading. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's all rendered at one time. Neat. The undershifting sand is the final wisp, apparently. You have to get the others, says Pizza Boy 420. Yeah, but I've gotten the other one. I haven't gotten the third one yet. I went for this one before. I went for the dark one. I got the dark one first. And I just ended up over here because I wander aimlessly. Yeah, he does. And it's neat how he goes to the sand, though. It's a little air pocket. He's got himself a HEPA filter. <sighs> hey, if you have a bad yeah, habit of applying that's... human attributes to any video game character, I can't help it. I mean, but it's, it's simple picks, you know, they're not human. What? Therefore, they can breathe sand. Son of a bitch, dude. I can't breathe sand, that's impossible. The little, well, I call it the lightning cat. Isn't he made of light? He can breathe through whatever. He's like technically plasma. Oh, neat. So you're telling me that I can't get this, um, I can't get this wisp yet? This one up here? Oh. Uh, maybe that should be done in order, babe? Is that what you're saying? Well, I've come this far. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go try, but he's saying that it's the last one. Oh. This is a very strange world. Like, what made that thing that's, um, throwing those lasers? Doing it again. What? I did not try to give it attributes of any sort. I said, what made it? He said, yeah. What, yeah, what? Yeah, uh, the moment you it's tell him something, it's the moment he stops listening. What are you trying? So, but I'm not gonna ask any more questions because apparently I do it wrong. But I was just wondering how he swims through sand. Burrowing. That's fast burrowing. He's a rabbit after all. 
You have to get the rest first, but you can do the others in any order you want, though. Okay. No, Thank I you, don't. Thank you, boy. I don't think he's a rabbit. I think he's a creature of legend. He's adorable. What well, he is. Well, I'm gonna this first. I'm gonna warp out of here. I'll take um. his word for it. The other way the hell over here, though. Oh, what's chasing him? Now, Pete Barnes has been playing Sea of Thieves. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Both. Key barns because Radical seems to wreck his everywhere he goes. Yeah, try, you gotta learn how to park it well and <laughs> and guard it. Don't let people just take the boat and leave. I like the game he's playing right now. Oh, the the drive the boat car. Yep. I don't know what it's called. So I call it drive the boat car. Uh, uh, lo lo load sail. I like I like mine better. Drive the boat car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a loan sale, and uh, yeah, I don't know. What it's, is the point of it, though? You gotta Anybody progress. Know? You gotta progress across the map, solving puzzles on the way. What puzzles? Well, like, like getting doors open and using, uh, oh. raising the bridge, and okay, yeah. So that's basically it, is what we've seen so far. Okay, I, think I was so. wondering if there was something more to it. Okay. I think that's about it. Okay then. <laughs> I don't think there's like bosses or anything like that. Be a strain. Returning? Yeah. Returning. You can't turn that thing. It just goes straight. Is he a kid? I can't tell. Uh, I don't know. He looks like a kid. He okay. looks like an. He looks like a Nintendo me. Uh, you know, Nintendo where you create your character? Who are you talking the about? Who? Radical's like, playing a new game on his Raggy Plays. Huh? <clears throat> what? Nothing. I DM'd you, though. Okay. Cool. <gasps> yeah. Well, I was just saying the uh, the character in that game Radical is playing kind of looks like a Nintendo me. The characters you create for your profiles. Yeah, I have a Switch and a, and a Wii. I don't know what the Mii's are. Yeah. Pizza Boy got a little player's guide, if you will. The order he recommends is the spider one, the paradise one, then the one at Bower's Reach. That's the way he would do it. He says Ori is a spirit. Yeah, that's pretty Thank much you. what he is. Yeah, yeah I, I call it like so, a cat. <laughs> is, is, this a, is this world like a nether world of some sort? You know what I'm saying? It's an otherworldly type place. Yeah. Silent Woods. It's like alien. It's almost like an alien landscape. But on an alien landscape, we'd be the aliens. Yes. Think about it. Mind blown. <laughs> it's like Radical with his dwarf game. The dwarves are the aliens. Wait, is that a parachute or just to show where he is? Just to show the oxygen level, I think. Oh, he's got an oxygen. Hang on, hang on. He's the boy said no. No. He's about what? to tell us what he is. Oh, he just said no. That is not there. Oh, it's like another world. Okay. We'll see. Okay. It's like another world. Yes. He's got to breathe. Apparently. <laughs> Thank you, P. Barnes. Least. Thank you. P. Barnes said it was deep. <laughs> You're deep. I am deep. Quiet. Oh, puppy. Oh, what the hell is that? 
I don't like when things like try to bite you and shit. No, I don't like it. Mm -mm. <gasps> Do they not have eyes? I'm missing a lot. Ew, that thing. Those are gross. They're spinning at you. Haha. <laughs> what? Okay. What do you mean, what? You laughed, didn't you? Yeah. What were you laughing at? <laughs> no worries. Okay. See you later. Don't have to back. I'll just sit here. Ah! Need no more confession, bro. Can you mope your sad? Colossal arches and all these multi-fires. I couldn't read it, it was too fast. So where are we now? Oh. I already seen the white light. Yes, we're, we're behind our mobile. Can't have Qualic doing all the work, eh? Okay. Uh, ooh. That's gonna be pretty. So Pizza Boy says the spider and the paradise ones are the only wisps with bosses. The other two have escape sequences. Yeah, Got I've been both of the bosses already. Oh, yeah, for sure. The it garlic touch. The what? The garlic oh. touch. Mm. Oh. I'm I was about to say, the other bosses, isn't, it wasn't that, that flying bird, mm -hmm. was it? Yeah, that circle was hard. <laughs> That's pretty. I like the hair petals on that thing right there. I think I'm going to try and make a wig out of these old jeans I have. Oh, sorry. A jean wig? Denim wig, yeah, yeah. Did I hear that right? Yeah, I'm going to shred it. You know, put, make them into, you know, strips and put them on a base. Shriek is the final boss, babe. Yeah, I know. The big owl. Okay. I was just reading what you put in the chat for you, huh? Because I don't know if you can read the chat sometimes. So, you got to face that dude again? I haven't fought him yet. Oh, okay. threw me down a hole, but... Oh, okay. I remember you've already played against one that like flies over the screen or whatever and he touches you, you die. Yeah, that's him. But that's not me fighting him. I'm running from him in those sequences. Right, okay. Oh, Are damn, you're gonna have me? to fight him. Holy you're gonna, shit. You're going after one acorn? Is that what you're doing? Thank you. That's a side mission the guy asked me to help him with. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Aww, that's sweet. She is cute, whoever he is. The monkey. I get way too frustrated with these platformers, I can't play them. Why? I just get too frustrated. What well, frustrates you though? I mean, I don't get it. Constantly Sorry. dying and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I remember that no, he's constantly dying. On the Nintendo remote. God damn it, Mario! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That was me. Are you kidding me, dude? My name is not like to lose the Mario. Oh, my neighbor's the same way, still. He's like 40 years old. But he's progressed from not <laughs> destroying his remotes, so, you know. 
Instead, he'll come outside and like split wood logs and shit. Awesome pizza. Screaming the entire fucking to, time. I can't wait to fight him. I hope you're around when I do. Uh, uh, pizza boy should tune in more often. He's your, uh, what's that called? Embodiment of a Brady guy. Sounds like he knows because he's probably eat it already. People are so just get better clips and you may enjoy them more. Well, I've never seen a platformer like this one. It's gorgeous. Ah! Yeah, I remember blowing I up. like stone. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I like story games more. There's a story to this. Oh, and first person shoot. What's a story game? What do you mean? The story centric game. Like one of those read as you can, like, make your like choice. Like Night in the Woods or something like that. Like, uh, the first Resident Evil, you know, as you progress, it tells you more and more of the story. But isn't that what this sure, is? Sure, but Resident yeah, Evil but frustrated me because I kept running out of it. But the story's not important in this game. You can just run through it and play it. Oh, right. really? No. Yeah. Oh. Sure, I care about the story, and most people, I would say most players do, but it's not something you have to pay right. attention to in order to... Or like L.A. Noir. Yeah. It enriches it so much more, though. Oh, yeah, L.A. Noir. I, I love that game. It was somewhat challenging, but at the same time, it was a lot of fun to play. Yeah, to, yeah, to do the interviews right, just like a cop. You know, if you mess up, you just lost that whole stream. What about... Um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, exactly. What about that... Uh, oh, God, what was the Go name ahead. of that one? Everybody's playing... Oh, the Detroit one. Uh, everybody was playing. Where everybody in the future has... Um, like robot maids and stuff. Becoming AI. human. Becoming human. Thank you, babe. Yes, that was a badass game. I like that one too. Yeah, your choices made a difference. You know. Oh, I didn't. I've never heard of that one. Mm. Oh, dude, check it out, man. It's about like uh, you're, you're basically a, a robot, and you play two stories. At, uh, I think it's two people at one at the same time. Two or three. Yeah. There's two or three stories. I can't remember now. There's the one with the old man and the girl. The girl, I remember, because she had to take care of that kid eventually. Yeah. Um, and isn't there... Oh, yeah, the cop. Three. Yeah, yeah, it's right, three. right. The cop. Yeah. Yes, you're right. It's three of them, the cop. Yeah. I totally forgot about the cop uh, cyborg or android, whatever. It's really a great game. I mean, I never got to play it, but I watched a lot of people play I mean, it's the one game... I ever, you know, by choice sat down and watched without, you know, having somebody I, I knew playing it. Okay, I'll check into it. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I... the other one that I wanted to watch that was so disappointing was Death Stranding. Oh, or so a lot of people start calling it UPS the the game. The game sucks. With the. Um, it, it did, didn't it? Yeah, with Norman Reedus. Yeah. Waited for years for that game. He'd been talking about it. Thought it was going to be something out of this world, like next level. And all it is is he's a delivery boy. <laughs> Every wow. once in a while, some things come out of the sky. And you got to stay away from it. Other than that, that's it. It was so stupid. You guys know the, the the game I'm talking about? That was a dumb fucking game. Couldn't believe it. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even hear what it was called. What was it called? Death Stranding. Yeah, where is Ofer though? I, I keep running into the other one. The one that sells the low end shit. Yeah. And I'm not going back until I find a, um. A, uh. Hey, Renee, brother. Oh. You've been le lurking the whole time, huh? Oh, wonderful! Oh. Wow. Death Stranding got really good reviews. 
We'll be careful talking. His daughter's there. Well, I think he meant she got an earful for not Oh, that's right. Lady. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I read it wrong the first time. Well, wonderful. I'm so happy that you're, you're seeing her. And yeah, definitely. Take that time with her. Unless my English is bad. Yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm exhausted today and I don't know why. Oh, this not sleeping with me. Oh, look at that. Fucking tube, bro. What? What happened? My cigarette ripped while I was trying oh. to make it. Oh. Uh, Motherfucker. That's that feather that he pulls out when he's falling, right? Dave? Yeah. Is that that feather? Oh. He's that, he, yeah, that. It looks like a parachute. That's a feather. Yeah, so I thought I was asking. Is that that feather? It's a feather. I always thought that was like a little shoe or something. Yeah, no, it's that feather that the yeah. the, the lady the lady bird gave him. Well, Y'all gotta remember, I, I, I can't see too good, so. Well, it's really small, so of course it's gonna look like. It's <laughs> It looks tricky, it does, Rene. Use flaps to push to... the bubbles. Uh, now that I'm starting to get to a point where I think I might need glasses soon, I'm fighting Ooh. it. Don't. Glasses can be really cool. I found a place online you can get um, prescription glasses for $39. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Um, At that I have you get your uh, prescription, right? You send it to them, and they give you glasses. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You pick them out, and you can even like try them on online because like you just put a picture up. Cool. Because I know somebody tends to sleep with her glasses, and she likes thin wire frames. Oh uh, yeah. She's breaking them. I, I actually had to teach thing. myself how to solder them back together. Ah. Uh well, she should check that place out then. It's well, she's got a thicker, uh, thicker plastic this time. But this way, because I figure if I get them there, I can maybe get a couple different pair, or maybe a pair of sunglasses too. Cool. I never wear my glasses though. Yeah, and I, I, I know I need glasses because now I find myself sitting closer to the TV just to read the dialogue on the video game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh... Do you have night blindness? 1080. I shouldn't sit that close. I should be able to see it from, like, five feet. I can't. Do you ever have night blindness? Thanks, pizza boy. I appreciate it. I have extreme night blindness with the lights uh, shining in my eyes. But, if there's no light out, I can see like nobody else's business. Are you trying to go up, up, up? Is that it? No, I went up as high as I needed there. I needed to go get that uh. switch open. Uh, oh, okay. I'm watching on the stream. Oh, oh. The, oh, the bubbles give you a boost, I see. The optometrist I saw a long time ago told me I did have an abnormally large, wide field of vision. That means I can uh, see more to the side than most people can. Uh, okay. So, what was that switch for? It opened that door to my right left. Yeah, but where it's in there. Is that where the acorn is? Are you still going for the acorn? No. Oh. I thought we were going for the acorn. I like these big flowers. They're pretty. <laughs> I thought that was a tree. It, I, it could have been a tree, but it looks like a flower to me. So. 
Got it's some tree weird flower. Leaves on it. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's got some weird banana leaves. They're pink though, so. Uh -huh. Oh, he kicked the flower. I mean the bubble. The bubbles are like boosts or trampolines. Yeah. That was like a meerkat with a very long ears and long tail. That other guy. What's he called? On Go the down left. and you can let Go the down bubbles and you can let the bubbles out on the left. It's voice on the left. I don't know how to fight that current. He doesn't know how to fight that current. <clears throat> Don't need them unless I'm reading on my- Oh! Renee's talking about glasses now. <laughs> when I take off my glasses, I'm sitting about three feet away from the screen and it's blurry. Yeah. Somewhat blurry. Pizza Boy, how does he fight the current? Whoa. With my astigmatism, I can't see the moon on when it's like really shiny. It like breaks apart. Yeah. I, can, I can see like three of them. You can see better when it's dark. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I have to look away from whatever's giving off light. Like if I want to see stars, I have to look away from them to the side a little bit, and then I can see them out of the corner of my eye. Oh no, I used to be able to see them fine, but I think my vision's going bad. I'm gonna wait and see yeah. if Pizza Boy. Uh... Tell me if I have what it takes to move that or not. I'll be right back. Use the bathroom. All right. All right. He's treading water. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, people are. Glasses. All right. Glasses are cool. They're. I mean, people with perfect vision will wear glasses for the fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, glasses with just regular lenses. Yeah, absolutely clear lenses. Or not or no lenses. I've seen people do that too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, if I ever do give me glasses, I'm gonna get them Harry Potter ones just to challenge motherfuckers to laugh at me. <laughs> Round ones? Okay. No, who you laughing? <laughs> who you laughing at, bitch? Right, who you laughing at, motherfucker? <laughs> Well, you don't like my my free state glasses? Uh, you ever seen the ones from county uh, from jail? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, same yeah, pair yeah. Of glasses. While you're talking about Harry Potter, it reminds me of one of the funniest memes I've ever seen, and it showed uh, it was a Harry Potter meme, and it had uh, Hermione, and she looked all exasperated, and it said, "Harry, I'm pregnant," and it uh, and then it showed Harry Potter wielding his wand, and it said, "Fetus, delete us." Oh, oh no! <laughs> Fucking motherfuckers on the internet ain't got no chill, dude. Oh, <laughs> Fetus, delete us. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man! Expelliarmus. I'll miss Alan Rickman. Yeah, he was good, man. I liked him. Fucking Galaxy Quest. That was my jam. <laughs> yeah, he was good in that one. It's a shame a certain color named individual had to look like a young Alan Rickman. What? There's a certain individual whose name is a color that looks like a young Alan Rickman. Who, Red Fox? Mm -hmm. No, we gotta say right, right, first name. Rhetoric. I mean, fuck him. I agree. Really? I've never seen his face. Nobody's supposed to, but they keep talking about it. He ain't missing nothing. Well, he says there's an old video. It's still there if you bother to go look. You ain't missing nothing, mm -hmm. Daddy O. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, you're really not. He's not as ugly yeah. as he says he is, but he's, he's not yeah. ugly at all. He just looks like a dude. Yeah. He's just a right. He's just average, and he can't stand the fact that he's just average. He's nothing special. Uh, so he makes jokes about how he's the most hideously ugly person in the world. I guess he, this way, he when you do meet him, you're like, oh, you know, you think, oh, he's not ugly at all because he's not hideous. You see? Yeah. It works to his advantage, I suppose. But uh, like, like, uh, like Kane on the wrestling scene. Wasn't nothing wrong with him. That motherfucker was ugly, dog. I'm sorry. He wasn't. I need a mask. Ugly, yeah, he but... was ugly, but he was talking about how scarred he was and everything else. Yeah, he wasn't. I need Who? a mask. Uh, he wasn't. I need a mask. Ugly, but he was definitely an ugly motherfucker, bro. Who is this now? Kane from from wrestling. Wrestling. He was in uh, See No Evil. I don't know. Man. We get sick of these names, they kind of get old. What's the name? Pizza Boy, you want to see the fetus delete us meme? <laughs> I think I have, I, I'll, I'll post it here in a bit. I think I have it in my meme folder. Fetus delete us. Hmm. Why the fuck did I try to find it? <laughs> now he see something he cannot see. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Never do that. Never do that. Never do that. Yetus the fetus. Oh my god. I think he stumbled across another one. No. Cain uh, was serious. I gotta see this Cain person. Anybody got a picture? Have you seen the movie? I don't want to go anything. I'm tired. Well, have you seen the movie See No Evil? No. He was the bad dude. If he's scary, if it's scary, I don't watch it. He looks like a biker. No, I'm saying that the the movie. If the movie's scary, I don't watch it. You know that. I don't like scary movies. Oh, wow. Okay, it's in true cool kids. Okay, here we go. Your twin over here loves scary movies. Oh, really? Yeah, she does. He's not he's not very attractive at all, actually. No, he's yeah, not he's masked. Totally <laughs> he's not masked though. You like scary movies, Tina? Ugh. Yeah, she I loves them. I don't like them at all. I got tricked into seeing Nightmare on Elm Street and I, I like the like the ghost ones, you know, like no. I don't uh oh. yeah, the paranormal ones I, I love those. I was raised Catholic so that shit's too real to me. I think I'm obsessed with death kind of things, you know, yeah. kinda of like gosh, yeah. yeah. But like, if does anybody remember the first person to die in um, Nightmare on Elm Street? Johnny Depp. Nope. No. No. Sorry about it. Mm -hmm. How do we start? Tina. Tina. Girl named Tina was the first to die in the movie. Yeah, one day, uh... Oh, I was saying, yo, that Disney fucked thing. me yeah. up. It was awesome. <laughs> I wasn't that saying, I mean, damn, I said, yo, I remember. Yep. And then they, the trail of blood. Yep. yep. And then they give you the backstory of uh, Freddy eventually. <laughs> yep. You're pretty young when that came out, too, wasn't you? Why is it telling Can me I how to use flap right yeah. there? Do I don't know what a flap is. I know I was this. young when you know, man. I used to scare the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to say was... mid I'm not even sure when they came out. What, Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah. Like, 84? 84, yeah. Yeah, mid-80s, yeah, all right. So... 
did Pizza Boy tell you how to do it? Did? Um. <laughs> pizza Boy, tell him how to do it! Babe, I don't want Pizza Boy to tell me how to beat the game. I'm not saying beat the game, how to fight the current. I thought that's what you were looking for. I moved on. Okay, well, I'm just trying to help. That didn't work out. I love the colors here. Ooh, the colors. The okay. colors. They're so vivid. Renee says you have to love horror movies where there are already spooky things happening in the house and the occupants don't just- Yes! 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 Don't just leave. Okay, let's just hang around and see what happens next. Right. Like in Poltergeist, how old was that little girl? They weren't that attached to her. Please. They have another one. They were young. <laughs> oh my god. I'm I sorry, I don't deal that. with like evil. What? <laughs> right, you just leave that kid behind. Fuck that person. We're out of here. Sorry, she's gone. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> no, she died. I love you, sweetheart. Right? We'll remember you. Bye. She died? Yeah, the little girl died after making those sport to guys. Yeah, in real life. They all died. All the kids are dead now. Wow, I didn't know that. And she was still a kid when she died. Yeah. She was, uh... The the first one to die was the teenage daughter, though. She was the first one to die of the, t of the kids. Huh. She died before the movie was even out. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people that were attached to that movie are dead now. Hmm. Huh. <coughs> guess they shouldn't have been making fun of the poultry guys. <laughs> I guess not. I wouldn't eat fried chicken for like six years after that movie. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Why? What happened? You don't remember? <coughs> the guy's eating fried remember. chicken. He looks in the mirror and there's maggots all in his face. He starts peeling it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't eat leftovers at all, actually. Because he took it out of the kitchen. The, 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 what do you call it? Refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing better than fried chicken that's been sitting for a day in your fridge. No. Mm-mm-mm. Not after that movie, it wasn't. Oh, I love cold fried chicken. Don't care. I watched a guy peel his face off because of it. Yeah, the little girl that gets, like, that came to the super, like, supernatural uh, spirits and stuff on Photograph Town. She mm. died at the COVID-98. Or 88, excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's still finger looking good to me. Yeah, well. Like, the only thing I do eat is chicken, so it's pretty si silly. Like, I had chicken for lunch, chicken for dinner. Same thing yesterday and the day before. I eat remember, chicken. remember those ads? I feel like chicken tonight. Like yep. chicken tonight? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Turns out this salsa was made in New York City. New York City? Hey. I love those. <laughs> I love those ads. It says here that this chili was made in New York City. New York City? Real salsa is made in San Antonio. It's like the, the worst thing in the world to hear it came from New York. Excuse me. It's salsa. So, some of the best Italian food comes from New York. It's America. That's not so Thank you, Pizza Boy. Thank you. Thank you, Pizza Boy. Renee wants to know if you've completed the game. Yes, many times. Wow. Thank you. Is this an old game? It's not old, but it's not new. Funny, oh. you're so old now. It's looking pretty. I agree with Renee about the, the sweet and sour chicken was to me. I've never had chicken tonight, quite frankly. But I eat chicken. You know what I like? I like hamburger hellfire. 
I haven't had that in years. Yeah, my mom. Mom used to make that sometimes. Google it up. Uh, you know, something about 783. She was strangled by her boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Before the movie even came out, I think. Fuck. <laughs> that's fucked up. I mean, that's not funny, but damn, that's He's not fucked cocaine. up. He was strung out on cocaine, I believe. I know cocaine was involved. Who are you talking about? The older sister in Poltergeist. Oh. Uh. Yeah, Dominique, uh, Dune. Yep. Dune or Dunn? Dun, no, it was like, she's a sister of, um... Her name was by, uh, her... her oh, D-U-N-E is, 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 yeah. is Dune. She, she went, she's a little sister of, um, an actor that did... Oh, God, he's a big actor, too. Dominic? Uh, no, 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 no. Nice, no, I'll figure it out. The elder, the elder sister of Blake Girl, Caroline. A little known fact: the game was released on March in in March 2020. Pizza Boy is working on a 100% complete run. My sister Julianne Beck. She was the next actor to die. I don't know who any of them people are. <laughs> Dude died in uh, June 3rd, 1987. Play the cult leader. You know the guy in American Werewolf in London? Griffin Dunn? That was her brother. The guy who turned into the werewolf in American Werewolf in London. Oh, okay. Her dad was famous too. Yeah. She came from a very famous family. Yeah. Her her dad oh, was Beck was the one that died before the movie release. He played the creepy old dude. Yeah, yeah her uh, dad was Dominic too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Beck, Dominic Beck. John. Yeah, the whole family is big actors. And yeah, her, I remember her brother because he was in um, a lot of comedies too. Not just American yeah, Werewolf in London. You remember him, right, babe? American yeah. Werewolf in London? He was the funnier of the two. He's the one who turned into the werewolf. Okay. He's an army. Schoolgirl here died at the age of 12. Schoolgirl here died at 12. How, how you eat too many Smarties, pizza boy? <laughs> I'm gonna go, guys. I don't know where Ofer is, though. I'm beat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out pretty quick too. Alrighty. Well, fuck it in. Yeah, there he is. Hey, I, I took a mid afternoon nap. I'll Sorry. be ready all night if I have to. See? And I see I was gonna be here. I literally passed out. Oh, but I annoy Bobby sometimes. What? I annoy Bobby sometimes. Nah. No. No, I'm, I'm the, the only, I'm the only one who annoys Bobby. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Bobby, Pizza Boy says that Ofer is in Wellspring Glades. And wherever that's at. That's why I can't play these games. I get too turned around and can't find my way anywhere. Even with a map. In life, I have a very good sense of direction, though. It's the monkey that sells you abilities. Oh, okay. Is 
Yeah. <laughs> you mean our uh Graham Teddies or knockoff <laughs> Teddy Grahams? <laughs> I'll go there and see what's happening. Clip, 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 are you gonna stay for a while? Because I don't want everybody to leave at once. Uh, probably hang for a few. All right, good. All right, then I'll leave first because I'm dying over here. Good night, baby. What? Good night, Good night, Marvel. Uh, Talk to you guys soon. Um, oh, for his to the right. Call me or something, babe. What, baby? Call me or something. Are you going to sleep or not? But yeah, but you can call me later. Okay. I don't sleep at little birds. All right. Talk okay. to you guys later. Love you. Love you too. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, Tina. Bye, Bye Tina. Good night. Bye, Bye, Renee. Okay, I see him over to the right. And then he says, press Y on the map. Gotta care. What time, no? That's the mystical Orpheus. I mean, over. Thank you, bro. Apparently, there's a new add on you can get for your toilet, which. Uh, eliminates the need for toilet paper. Called a bidet. It's probably like a hose, something like that. I don't know. It's on Wish Wish dot com apparently. It's a bidet spout. Who knows? Isn't that what Paul Hogan used to wash his hair in that Crocodile Dundee movie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> me and, me and hey, Radical were talking about Crack with Al Dundee the other day. It's classic. Hey Tony, brother. Hey, uh, pizza. If I you if I get um a spirit star and I pause it in midair, what what's the benefit of doing that? Hello, Titan. Garden hose. Good night, babe. I'll talk to you in a bit. Right. It's a bidet. I mean, bidet. No. <laughs> I thought there, there was that guy's name, Tom Bidet. The Motel 6 guy. Tom Bodet. Bodet. <laughs> yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom Bodet. I'm Tom oh, Bodet, and we'll leave the light on for you. Uh, he said about that one. What the hell did you just have highlighted? I don't forget. It says it does continuous damage if it's touching an enemy. Yeah, the spirit star. There it is.
diamonds are all that useful to me for now, so I'm gonna keep my money. It says at one, I'll let you breathe underwater. You need about tree fitty. Tree fitty. <laughs> Titan's got a good one in there. It says, Motel 666. We'll leave the goat burning for you. He <laughs> <laughs> says it can shred the next boss really fast on the star. Pizza said. Pizza Boy 420. That's just an awesome stream name. I guess he delivers pizza and he likes to smoke the uh, herb. Anybody that loves pizza smokes weed, man. I love pizza. I don't smoke weed. <laughs> no, no. I said loves pizza. Like it's their go-to meal <laughs> for anything. Oh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, you was talking about fried chicken. You know what I like to do with cold fried chicken? I like to shred it up and uh, give it another quick warm up on the pan. You know, saute it a little bit. With some diced yep. onions and jalapenos and some cheese and a and a tortilla. A chicken taco. Oh nice. It was funny, I was talking about fried chicken. I haven't had fried chicken in like years. The same here, man. I moved away from Texas and I ain't found a good chicken shack. I grew up on Church's chicken. I don't like KFC that much. We have Church's chicken up here. Oh wow. I haven't been able to find one. Like, you asking me what toppings do I like or what's my favorite franchise? <laughs> Renee. <laughs> I smoke pizza and eat weed. <laughs> now, I've smoked a pizza on a campfire. It actually tastes pretty god darn good. On the meme? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, wow, look at that. Titan's got a good point there. He's surprised nobody's thought to use the, the hash oil to make a deliverable pizza. The ultimate edible, straight to your door. Yeah, 420 Pizza Shack. Wow. That is more than smart. That is brilliant. No offense, but I promise you somebody's tried that. Uh, you yep. talk. So you get hungry as you're eating it. <laughs> I remember one time years ago. I, I didn't smoke weed that often, but when I did, man. I thought the move. I thought the road was moving in front of me when I was driving. Don't drive and do that, by the way. And then uh, when uh, I got to the McDonald's uh, drive-through, I thought people were calling the cops on me and stuff. I got all paranoid. <laughs> oh, you had some really good stuff then. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's BC, right? So we got all that potent yeah. BC bud. Yeah, you went past giggly straight to paranoid. Yep, pretty much. But still yeah, hungry. I, yeah, I drive stoned all the time. I've, I've never had that issue. Yeah. You gotta watch out, though. If they get caught for that, the same same deal as a DUI. I drive better stoned than I do sober. Mm -hmm. I'm respectful of the road for some damn reason. Because I won't speed. Because we drive and sober. We don't have some road rage incidents. Yeah, exactly. I'm the guy that will get out of my fucking car. You wanna go, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Hey, 
Renee says 420 Pizza Shack. Look for the green leafy roof. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> pizza Boy says he wouldn't eat the pizza. He'll absorb it like Kirby. <laughs> Kirby was awesome. Remember the time I killed Marvel? She should play Kirby because it's more her speed. <laughs> yeah, I do. You told her that and you're still breathing? She didn't know how to think. <laughs> oh, okay. She's like, oh, really? Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, what's Kirby? <laughs> Pretty much. that the Kirby suck <laughs> Kirby was good and like that 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 Metroid 2 first Metroid I play that shit all day long what was that demonic noise? I didn't hear a demonic noise. What'd you hear? Oh, Pizza Boy said it. I don't know. I heard something. I don't know what it was, though. Yeah, it was, uh, sounded like Bobby, like, sharply intaking a breath and screaming at the same time. Oh, yeah, I was. Half-assing Kirby. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, didn't come out sounding exactly the way I hoped, but... It sounded more demonic than anything. Peace <laughs> boy right on that. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> but that's only when people are around. Yeah, I like poker if I got some friends, though. Poker's fun. I like playing poker with friends for a moderate amount of money. Yeah. Like a $40 buy-in, something like that. I was going to say 20 and just have, what you call it, penny chips? Penny it chips? last longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we had the most, the biggest bet you could do was $2, and you could do it two back. Two times, two more times. Oh. Yeah. I have my my father and a couple of his friends. That motherfuckers there would put like a thousand dollar buy in. They'd be playing all night. Come <laughs> back home like five six thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whoever won that pot that night, that's you know that was a lucky bastard. We could go buy a truck the next day. Yeah, I was on a trip for work one time, and uh, the owner of the company, it was like a company that had like 90 stores, too, so it was a pretty big company. Uh, but we were playing poker with him, and uh, I almost beat him. I came in second out of eight of us, but uh, yeah, the old man fucking took me out the last hand, so missed out on a pretty big pot, too. It's like $500 or something. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he bluffed his way into letting you think he was gonna win. Yeah, he, he got he got lucky out of nowhere. He just got the cards, and I was just <laughs> yeah, it wasn't yeah. no out of nowhere, bro. He's been doing that since fucking what 1971 or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh well, like them pool hall hustlers. He's dead now. All right, how do I hold the, the stick again, and then later on break out Charlene? <laughs> yeah. Uncle Phil had to go do that for uh, Will and uh, Carlton or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was worth like two hundred and fifty million dollars, and too, he didn't need any more money. Oh well. You always need more nope. money, Cliff. 
Mr. Titan's too cutthroat. He don't play with friends. I see. I believe that. Yeah, he'd probably be one of those, uh, what's that, the, the WPT players. World that's focus, the huh? Yeah. Except more underground. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to take off, guys. Oh, all right. Been good, uh, good hanging out. So, bye, Bobby. Bye, uh, bye, Anacito. Bye, Christina. See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That's pretty good. Good type. He says he likes all the card games. Heart, Spades, Blackjack, Poker, Canasta. I like Gin Rubby. I, I don't really play cards like I used to. I like Rum Jimmy. Yeah. Then Phase 10. <laughs> that was a pretty interesting game the first like time I was introduced to it. I agree, Blackjack is a good game, but... Nah. What about Jack Black? Yep. Uh, he's alright as an actor, I guess. <laughs> right, I like them as both. It's probably because I can't see him. I have no idea who that is or even how to say that, Titan. And grinning? And grinning? Hey, um, Grinny? Pizza Boy, Pizza Dude, am I uh good to go back where I was now that I can breathe underwater? Or is there something else I should be doing? He said, yeah, you can go back. Who Pizza Boy was talking about? The dude from the I like your cut G me. I have no idea what that is. I like your cut G. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I tell anybody else, I don't get out much. So. Kid Poker, he's an amazing player. He could actually guess exactly what card someone has in a live tourney by the way they play. Daniel Negrino. Daniel Negrano. Oh, Negrano. Okay. How do you open?
open these gates. That's what I haven't figured out yet. I know if you hit these, it opens some of them. Oh, there it is right there. It opens them. Temporarily, though. Okay. Sound like one of them hell of a deals. My dad was one of those kind of card players type, and he could pretty much tell what everybody had. Yeah, that, yeah that, that, that's what Titan was saying. That he's one of them kind of players. He knows. How do you beat those currents? room like even the pool attorneys were kind of crazy he's been his one little Mexican bar across the street where I used to live we used to charge the people twenty dollars for parking in a lot that nobody cared about and we'd have to fold up our sign and go back in the apartment and hide <laughs> I wasn't too happy with this one night. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, what? I'm trying to make me some gas money.
Because he said he got him by uh, limping in with a double ace before the flop. That sounded like an extremely wise move. Uh, Pizza Boy finally said you need another upgrade uh, for that. To beat the current. Gotcha, thank you. Uh, take it, his little dash doesn't work underwater. Negative. I see. you need a swim dash. Yeah, Titan, I, I never did get up uh, deep into poker like that. I just enjoyed it for fun. Yeah, that's what makes me unique too and even in video games I don't care if I win or lose I just enjoy playing like on Mortal Kombat if I get my ass handed to me by a great player and I thank that dude I don't sit there and say oh you're cheating blah 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 no 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 you had it last that involves alcohol. Nope, Mountain Dew. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Pizza Boy says he's not even old enough to drink beer. Why well, you all know to smoke weed though? Mm, too bad, like over here, Nora. Right. Weed legal, friendly state. Still gotta be 21. Play chess and it's easier to master than hold them. Wow. That's one game I've never gotten good at is chess. That's what I meant, Pizza Boy. 
<laughs> You're not old enough to uh, drink beer, you ain't old enough to smoke weed neither. <laughs> Legally, anyways. Is it legal where you live at, Pizza Boy? I see the water. I see what you was talking about now. He says it's not legal. I used to live in one of them states. Until oh, I moved to a, to a place where it is. Oh, it was magic to be able to walk into a store and say, I want that one. There's between a five dollar gram and a forty dollar gram. Stay down, put. Saying to use bash to I redirect. Always forget about that shit. Ultra Bash. <laughs> I remember when the sodas used to come in glass bottles. Long, long time ago. And they switched to plastic. You want to go out, dog?
still don't have swim dash. Elite, your turn. Not in general. He just defeated to commit self to lead us. Yeah. Ah, Inajuko? Ajnak. Peace of God, you don't know what it is. A hippocampus is uh, your memory. A hippocampus it allows you to remember stuff. Like a gigantic moss covered frog. Yep. Barnacles and shit. <laughs> Look like mushrooms on his head. No, about no barnacles. <laughs> oh yeah, now that he's moving I see him. That was a big ass frog. Apple tea. <laughs> I hear that and I remember uh, Ace Ventura when he was thanking the village people by saying Bumblebee tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee. 
gonna be tuna. Thank you. I'm gonna be tuna. Remember spitting in his the sun and sign of something. He's like, oh really? Funny ass movie. That explains uh this Titan's full of knowledge right now. I guess that explains a Ben Burr's character on Half Baked or what was that? Days and Confused? Yeah, Half Baked. I just cheated the game. Oh, pizza boy, your links won't post, man. Put it in there without the dot com and I'll add it myself. You mean I can post a link? What? I act like I've never done it before. <laughs> I'm about to say, I didn't even see that message appear. But I'm gonna take a shot in the dark at the hippocampus. Uh, Mimi's talking about it's probably a campus full of hippos. God damn it. See, si, senor. You must have the wrench of power to post leaks. Some would call it a spanner. Last I heard, they speak better English than us.
He's always been posting links this whole time. We have not. I have not seen not one. British for ranch. Yes, you're correct. It's like I've also heard that, you know, British cars have an engine under the bonnet uh -huh. that does not sound manly or masculine at all. Yeah, we'll keep calling it a hood. Yeah. Just like we call our, uh, Yeah. And also the boot for the trunk. But like I've heard other British people say, you know, to us Americans, y'all should learn to speak English right. We're like, well, I guess you shouldn't have, you know, told the other ones to shove off. They're the ones that taught us the English we know now. <laughs> We adapted it to suit our needs. America. Biggest pickless. Yeah, see, he says it's a spanner. You're right, it is. I got a good one. Okay. What's a crescent wrench in, in British? I mean, English. I mean, proper English. Probably has too many letters, whatever it is, color, flavor. What is the color of law? No, just the word color. They have a U in it. We don't. Flavor. It's got a U.
Uh oh. He's making him go nuclear over there by himself. <laughs> color versus color. <laughs> Believe it or not, Pizza Boy, they're the same word. Just not spelt the same. He says British is weird. It's actually not British. It's uh, I guess they call it the Queen's. I'm not even sure what they call it. It's called English. The English? After the next boss is a big depresso, he says to him. Swim dash! The earth is round, I did not know that. Angler and fish mix together and you get anglers. Hmm. Good food for time. Oh yeah, what, uh, when we say biscuit, we mean one thing. When they say biscuit, they mean something else. Is biscuit their word for cookie? I can't remember. Yeah, they call biscuits cookies. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make sure I had the right word. No wonder why they when I talk about biscuits and gravy, some of them are like, what? <laughs> they don't understand that's a fucking food source and a staple all its own. Well, what the hell do they call it biscuit? Would that be a roll? One thing I do find funny is um, like a fish and chip shop, your ordinary little mom and pop, you know, fish and chip shop down in Britain. And they give you the fish and chips, it's wrapped up in a fucking newspaper. I mean, Jesus, don't they have their own fucking wrapper or bag or something? Thank you for that, Titan. A biscuit is called a scone. Cool.
So now I should tell them, have y'all ever had scones and gravy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a scone. Isn't it sweet or something? Like a little coffee treat to have with your coffee. But still, I do like the way British people cuss, like, are you taking a piss? And like, what are the other one? Wanker is also a favorite one they use. Yeah, see, Titan, I, I, I know we we shouldn't use our uh, newspaper for that very same reason. Toxic ink. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's, uh, Pizza Boy says you have to go. Uh, Alright, let me start up. You have to go the other way around to the Wisp. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the way. Okay. You must have one hell of a delay. Boss coming now. Renee says Hawaiian rolls, the food of the gods. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, I've always thought that too, Titan Ray. He said, uh, our papers followed suit. The advertisement colored ink isn't safe, but basic black is. And the paper's antibacterial. Imagine that. Yeah, drop biscuits. I agree, though. Forget about your spirit star there, Bobby's pizza board. Don't forget about what? Your spirit star. I still like to get the newspaper. They're great uh, for whenever I fry stuff, I use the newspaper to catch the grease. Finally died. That's how long the delay is. Read 
your boy says too to get uh to heal you gotta attack the little arms that come out of the ground in the walls phase two i'm guessing that's with the water Throw those things back at it. Fast attack.
Oh, dude, that's bullshit. Did you see that shit? We're fixing to. Dude, you're gonna fucking die. I had him to the sliverest of slivers, and then I fucked up. I definitely did a lot better on this time around. Ah, yeah, I see it. Like a fly, bro. Just reached up and said, Get the fuck out of here. He <laughs> just swatted you away like an annoying gnat. Get the fuck away from me, bruh. What's wrong with you? I said that earlier, I was just making sure that he didn't mean the froggy arm, but that's a future. Uh, what's the black arm on the ground I need to remember your bash attack. Well, I haven't See that? It looks like you get me there. There it goes. Nice I say I've been right here. What the hell you talking about?
I see what piece of boy mean by the press. So I thought it was like another boss or something. I was just talking about the sad moment in the game. I don't, I don't speak youth no more. I'm in my forties. Yeah, they kicked the shit out of the frog, man. He literally just murdered it. That poor little frog was being controlled. He made that frog suck on some froggy balls. <laughs> Did you tell him to feel uh, to feel the lightning? <laughs> <laughs> Your balls of light. How the fuck do I get down there to that gorilla core? Peace boy said the game is very depressing. And no info yet on how to get down there. I guess break that somehow. But with what? Ain't none, of, ain't none of them charging rhinos or anything. Oh wow. Pizza Boy says there is a side quest where you That's accidentally good. push a mo suicide. <laughs> Jesus. That's that's pretty brutal, man. Oh, you said Spirit Smash will do that. Speaking of them new word, like like one that gets on my nerves is random. Especially when people my age use it. Well, it's so random. Shut the fuck up. Pizza Boy says use the spirit smash ability if you have it. Or probably come from the other side. They're pretty crazy, man. That you gotta push one of the little monkeys to suicide.
Should have told the frog to break that before he died. <laughs> Hurry up, dude. Hold up. Come down here. Let me be over. I don't have much time. You'll have to carry me. <laughs> That damn thing just don't want to break, does it? Time I had a beer.
Well. Oh yeah, I already have that mission too. Yeah, about the rebuilding the the solid woods. I already rebuilt it. Yeah, I think I remember that one. That's what I was thinking. Like, oh yeah. I just haven't gone I back again. yet. To... Well, now we know what's gonna happen. Thanks to our very own live strategy guide. Nah, Renee, he's being helpful. He don't spoil much. <clears throat> it's like, who the hell was it? Oh, yeah. I was sizzling bacon in another streamer. I was helping him through uh, GTA 4. He played this, the game all these years and didn't know where the vest was, where the guns were. I said, bro, turn that corner. Go over there. There's a submachine gun. Pick it up. <laughs> He goes, how do you know all this stuff? I said, I, I found it by accident. What game are you talking about? GTA 4. Like all the little hidden stuff, like the yeah. weapons and whatnot. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah, I still know where the vest is and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I know exactly where they're at and walk right to them. Like when you first start the game and you move in with the Roman damn cousin. There's a gun right down the street. You want a shotgun? Go the opposite way, two blocks to the cop car. There you go. Yeah. That's about it for me, guys. I'm done. Alrighty. I always do side quests, man. Not just, I mean, I don't necessarily care for 100% as far as like items and shit but I definitely like to get all the story and lore that I can if you're new here please like share and subscribe and I'll see you all next time Renee later taters Tony Yeah, I've been going almost four hours, dude. I'm tired. Two o'clock in the morning. Best, best fucking desktop wallpaper ever coming up. Later, pizza boy, man. Nice meeting you, dude. Good evening. Yeah. Appreciate the heads up, people, boy. Yeah, Pretty man. cool. Very helpful. Thank you. All right, night, dudes.